Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all having a lovely day today. Um, hope you had a lovely Christmas if you did celebrate. Um, hope it was a lovely holiday celebrating with your loved ones or whomever you celebrate with. Um, I wanted to talk about a couple of things today, and one of them is kind of Christmas and the whole, you know, this time of year. Um, and I think the thing that I actually wanted to talk about was kind of how during this whole season, even though it was a season that, you know, as Christians, we adopted it to be a time to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, it hasn't really turned into that, if you know what I mean, where now it's kind of a season of busyness and for a lot of people, stress. Um, please be nice to your retail workers uh, during this time of year. I mean, we should always be treating everyone with respect and compassion and kindness, but especially people in retail, especially during this time of year, guys, I used to work. You guys remember that I always used to, when I was working at that music store, I would always be complaining and always be stressed out. And I was just miserable all the time. And especially during December and January, like, please be nice to your retail workers this time of year just saying um but anyway and I know that I, I always feel like I'm preaching to the choir on here I know that you guys are all being lovely but um anyway I just wanted to talk about you know how crazy it is that you know this holiday that you know originally we um you know as Christians we adopted to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior and a lot of people were kind of on that bandwagon as well it's crazy just to kind of see how much of that has changed you know when you look on you know Christmas movies and when you hear the radio um, you know, Christmas music, because that's, you know, all that gets played this time of year. Um, so much of it, you know, has nothing to do with the actual birth of our Lord and Savior, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, and I know that there are going to be some people coming on here being like, well, technically the holiday was originally a pagan holiday. And yes, I understand that. But, you know, the way that we kind of adopted the holiday and started to celebrate the holiday and the reason why it is so popular, popularly celebrated is because it was original uh, or because it was adopted as, you know, a Christian holiday. Um, but, you know, when it comes to that aspect of it, that's just not there anymore. You know, um, it's just interesting to think about. I'm not necessarily being like, and that's why we need to, you know, like do something. But like, it is something to notice, you know, uh, when I listened to the radio, you know, there was really no Christmas songs um, that really have to do with the birth of our Lord and Savior. That's why when I heard Hark the Herald Angels Sing, it really, you know, almost like affected me. You know, I literally posted about it the other day. I was like, guys, when I just heard this one verse, it just really made me emotional, which is true, you know, like. Hearing that verse, and that was what I also wanted to talk about today, um, God and sinners reconciled, it just, oh my gosh, it just makes you so happy, and it just makes so much sense, you know, it, it makes me so upset that the whole world just thinks that salvation is so much more complicated than it needs to be. The salvation is so simple, and I feel like everyone just assumes that Christianity is this complicated list of rules, and it just, I hate that that is the mentality, and I hate that that is the stereotype, I guess you could say, because it's literally just, he died so we could live. He paid the debt we couldn't pay so that we could go to heaven, that's it. It's so simple, and unfortunately, that's not what the world believes, or sometimes I feel like wants to believe, um, you know, because then you have to accept the fact that you're not as good of a person as you thought you were, perhaps. Um, so anyway, that's what I was thinking about. I did want to let you guys know, and now that we're ending or approaching the end of the video, I did want to let you guys know that um, I am going to be taking a, not a break from YouTube. I'm very much going to be on YouTube. And in fact, I think this is actually going to help me have more time for YouTube, but I'm going to be taking a kind of like social media break. And really that only means Instagram because that's pretty much the only social media I have. Um, I've just been really bad with being addicted to social media. If I'm being completely honest, um, you know, just always being on Instagram, just mindlessly scrolling, you know, I, I, it's the same situation with TikTok from like 2020, where I remember I had TikTok for like two weeks in 2020. And after a night of like, literally not sleeping and just mindlessly scrolling for hours and hours and hours, I was like, okay, this needs to go. And that's happening with Instagram. However, I do understand that with my Instagram, you know, it is a part of my ministry. You know, there are people who I minister to on Instagram, you know, I post videos sometimes I make posts um and I understand that that you know is something I don't want to stop the ministry but I do understand that you know my mental health and my spiritual health are very important because it is affecting my spiritual health so I am going to be taking a break from that um uh I'm not closing the account I'm not deleting the account um it is just a break however I think that um 
And I talked to her about this yesterday. I'm, I think I'm actually going to have Issa. You guys all love and remember Issa. Um, she actually is going to be coming on here very soon for a video. Um, but she's actually going to be kind of managing my account for the next, I don't know how long. Um, she agreed to it and I'm super thankful. Um, so she's going to be handling all my Instagram stuff regarding, you know, um, you know, she has the password now. I'm not going to know what the password is once she changes it. Um, there are a couple of people who I'm just getting shifted to Gmail and trying to just adjust to, you know, I think I'm going to try and do my Instagram posts like here on YouTube as community posts because pretty much all my posts on Instagram I can do here. Um, you know, in terms of the short videos, I can just upload those as shorts or reels. I forget which one is which, but that's something I can do here on YouTube. And then regarding the fun artsy Bible verses, that's something I can also just post on the community tab. Um, you know, I know that there are other people who even do that too. And I even did that on Christmas just to try it out. And it seems like a lot of people liked that. So I think I'm just going to try and get the Instagram aspect of ministry kind of shifted over to the community tab. Um, I understand that there are people who like Instagram and who used Instagram. Um, there are some Instagram pages if you guys like, you know, just little daily encouragements. Um, I will try to uh, link some Instagram pages that I know are really good that I would recommend. I'll try to make like a little... Um, Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. A little community post of like, you know, Instagram pages that have like, you know, daily Christian encouragement. Um, if you guys want to follow those so that, uh, you know, I mean, not that I was posting daily on Instagram, but if you guys really like Instagram, then, you know, hopefully those, those pages can be helpful in terms of just daily encouragement. Um, but anyway, like I said, I think that by digitally detoxing Instagram will help me to have more time for YouTube. Um, because I won't be mindlessly scrolling as much. So anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys all had a lovely holiday. I hope you guys are having a lovely week. Um, if you have off, that's awesome. I'm so happy for you. I'm going into work right now, which is why I'm filming right now <laughs> at the crack of dawn. Um, we're back to that. I always post these, I feel like, in the afternoon. But really, I'm filming and it's like 7 in the morning. Um, but anyway, I <laughs> hope you guys are all doing well. As always, if you guys ever have any comments, questions, or concerns, do not hesitate to leave me a comment down below or shoot me an email at my email address because that's going to be our new main method of communication. Luckily, I feel like most people on here did use email as their main method of communication. So that kind of works. Um, you know, there's just a couple of people that I want to get shifted off of Instagram or at least finding other methods of communication. Um, also, if you guys ever have any prayer requests or anything like that, do not hesitate to leave a comment down below with prayer requests as well. And since I'm taking a break from Instagram, I guess I can't say that anymore. Um, you know, like I said, so if you do have any questions or anything, really do try to reach out to email instead. Um, you know, like I said, Issa will have access to the Instagram, but she's not going to be on it all the time because, you know, I know she has better things to do. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. And as always, God bless.